As of August 7th, 2022, there are 50 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Old Yangluangai in Tanzania, which produces the world's most unique variety of lava. Instead of producing orange to red silica-rich lavas, this volcano produces carbon-rich natural carbonatite lavas which initially erupt as a black color before cooling off as a white layer of material. Old Yangyulingai has been erupting continuously since April 9th of 2017, producing a range of purely effusive to volcanic and explosive eruptions. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Japan, a new volcanic eruption occurred on the famous island of Iwo Jima, ejecting a plume of gases to a height of 1,300 meters above sea level. Meanwhile, also in Japan, the alert level was raised at the Kuchi no Elabujima volcano in response to a series of shallow earthquakes. And in Iceland, the Krishvik volcanic system produced a new effusive eruption, sending chunks of the molten rock more than 100 meters into the air and attracting tens of thousands of tourists. For context, the Rekanes Peninsula of Iceland consists of four major volcanic complexes which each have erupted multiple times in the last 10,000 years. While some eruptions have occurred as isolated events, these volcanoes tend to produce greatly increased numbers of eruptions over short time periods in a sort of a prolonged eruptive episode. The last such eruptive episode occurred in 1300, and since 2020, the entire peninsula appears to be in a new eruptive period. Since then, seven magmatic intrusions have occurred, which ended up causing two eruptions, both within the Krishovic complex. After an intense earthquake storm began on July 30th, ground uplift was soon detected. As magma intruded shallower into the crust, it caused patches of steam to burst out of the ground due to the molten rock's interaction with groundwater. Then, on August 3rd, a new volcanic eruption began at a fissure 1,500 meters northwest of where Geldingadala erupted in 2021. This new eruption had a surprisingly high rate of lava effusion, emitting an average of 32 cubic meters of lava each second. For comparison, this is slightly more than three times the average rate gelding a dollar erupted, which averaged 9.3 cubic meters per second. This has led to the rapid growth of a tall spatter cone and the creation of a decently sized river of molten rock with cascades of lava. It is quite likely that what is now termed the Meridollar volcano will continue erupting for several more weeks to months at a minimum. Within Japan, the island of Iwo Jima produced a new volcanic eruption, ejecting superheated ash and pyroclastic material along two spots in the north and south sections of the island. While an explosion was witnessed on August 1st, this volcano has likely been producing an eruption for at least two weeks beforehand. On July 15th, a darkened patch of water was observed off the island's southern coast, likely translating to a submarine eruption. Similar signals were then again seen on the 25th and 30th to 31st. Around that time, satellites also detected thermal heat signatures at the relevant eruption sites. This latest series of phreatic explosions is not all that surprising as the entire island is essentially a massive resurgent dome located within a caldera. Since 1945, the entire island has been uplifted by a minimum of 10 meters or 33 feet. To the northwest, the stratovolcano known as Cochino e la Bujima is also producing signs of unrest. Beginning on July 30th, an earthquake storm occurred underneath this volcano's three craters and continued for several days. As a result, its alert level was raised from 1 to 2, representing a color code change from green to yellow. By August 1st, a total of 40 volcanic earthquakes had occurred. Although sulfur dioxide gas measurements remain low, there is still a chance that this volcano, which has erupted 16 times in the last century, could erupt again. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Matt for supporting this channel.